Alright, here we are with the tutorial on PollEverywhere.com and this is just a short tutorial to kind of show you how to get things started um, make up some fairly easy questions to poll students in class and stuff. One caution is that using PollEverywhere.com uh, students can use their cell phones uh, or you can set it up to where they have to go onto the internet from a computer lab or something if you're not comfortable using the cell phones. The first thing you need to do is go to PollEverywhere.com um, It's right up there, PollEverywhere.com and if you've never signed up before, it's very simple just click on the sign up section we're not a business and nonprofit plans. We are more of the K-12 plan because this is for high school and middle school. And you can just set up any style of plan that you want. So uh, right now I'd probably suggest just doing the free section sign up. And then if you really like it and start wanting to use it for other things, then you can sign up for uh, something more expensive but once you sign in and sign up then you can go on to um, creating your polls so I'm going to log in and then we'll get started alright this is what my main screen looks like for polls you can just simply go over to create a new poll it's very simple. Ask a multiple choice or an open-ended free text question. Uh, these are great for at the end of a class when you're not really sure if everybody got what you were talking about in class. You can pull one of these polls up very quickly and it's kind of like a ticket out the door. So uh, let me just show you really simply. You can type in something as easy as what is your favorite food? Now, this of course could be an open-ended question, and um, you could just leave it like this, and it'll set it up for you. you just go over and click here, and it says uh, convert to multiple choice. If not, you can just continue on and leave it as an open-ended question. If you want to convert to multiple choice, it's fairly simple. Just click here and type in your options. You might want to type like hamburger. ice cream and you could add more if you needed to once you're finished you can just click continue and it'll set up your poll now of course it says here you can text a code to 37607 so the students would type in this code onto their the where they're sending the text to and then this would be their answer either 320030 or the other one to discover what sh people like more in class hamburgers or ice cream if you're not comfortable like I said before of going to uh, letting your students use cell phones you can always uh, have them submit the code at pollev.com and it'll show you the website up here so either one is perfectly fine. The poll is live right now. You can see where it says live audience polling. Um, if you want to download it as a PowerPoint slide, which I've done in a couple of classes, uh, it's great for at the end of class when you already know what kind of question you want to ask. You can have that slide readily available and when it goes to that slide it automatically pulls the poll up and gets it started for you. Here you can look at your results and as people text in um, one of the numbers, the numbers will start climbing. Then you can just simply stop your poll. No one else can send a response in and then that would be the end of it. You can go to reports, check out um, some of the ideas. That's only available if you've gotten some of the uh, more pricey pollings if it's not just free. So. At any rate, that is how you would create a poll, and you can look through all the 
different things and have fun with it to figure out what kind of polls you want to ask your students in class. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you.